Hello my friends out there. I just come from a really, 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 really good lunch at The Palms. They haven't opened yet their new buffet, but I have a friend who got invited. He's a, a president, I think president, or oh, chairman, no, he's chairman. So the seven stars of the station casinos. And he got invited um, to try the buffet. And so we went there. I have no footage about it because this episode already has a lot of food porn in it. Um, but I'm going back um, at the dinner and then I'm gonna show you what they have here. I'm, I'm pretty sure this um, buffet is gonna crash across the street the Rio it's so much better and the prices are unbelievable you cannot buy uh, the food for the price that you pay over here but for that one next time <laughs> <laughs> so the thing that is missing in this episode so far is some poker and that's why I'm going right now because I have another um, I have another lucky charm that I have to play with poker card. Um, da, 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 da. oh package from Las Vegas Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, here's the letter. Hello, Peck. Hello, Peck. Hello, Poker Crowd. My name is Gino and I am from Las Vegas also. I know how much you like playing the sniper game on the PlayStation, so I wanted to get you a shotgun card protector for, for luck. If you can. I would like it, I would like you to use it at the Club Fortune Casino or Skyline Casino, both in Henderson. I know them both. <laughs> uh, otherwise, feel free to play wherever. Keep up the fantastic vlogs. Your friend, Gino. Thank you very much, Gino. I know the Club Fortune Casino and I know the Skyline Casino also. They only have limit. Um, if you want me to make some money with that, uh, uh, with the lucky charm, I better don't go there. I go somewhere else. Um, but if you um, if you text me on Facebook that you're gonna be and playing in the Club Fortune Casino or the Skyline Casino, I'm coming over and play with you with the lucky charm. How about that? So first of all, I go somewhere else, and uh, if you text me, I come to there and we play together. So. This is Booker the Wit. <laughs> I guess that's a guy from a game. He has a shotgun in his hand. <laughs> hmm. I'm not so familiar with Bioshock. I heard Bioshock, but I never played it. Um, doesn't matter. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go and play with it. <laughs> and now I'm gonna show you where we're going to play. Good. Turn that around. Oop, it's not there. No, not the mini storage of Nevada. Over there. Whoop, whoop. The Orleans Casino. So, playing at the Orleans. Um, I try to call in, but they don't take any call ins right now to get on the list because the jumbo checkpot that they have is over 100,000. So, a lot of people are sitting there. Um, and they don't take any call-ins. So I gotta go in there and I hope the list is not that long. <sighs> Get to the table. <laughs>
<laughs> Only here for 10 minutes and already the heat is on. The heat is on. So I'm sitting down in that uh, in the one one three game, and I only bought in for 100, and uh, I got dealt. Uh, oh, I played two small hands, and then I got dealt Ace King, Ace of Hearts, and King of Diamonds. So I raised it up to 12 dollars. Nice. The cutoff and uh, uh, the cutoff is to my left, and uh, the button uh, one uh, behind him calls also the 12 dollars, and the rest falls. So I have only two players to my left. The flop is Ace 10, uh, Ace 10 5 Rainbow. I bet $25. The cutoff calls, the button folds. Turn brings a three. Uh, we are still Rainbow, nothing changed, and um, I don't have enough money left to play really the hand. So I bet 25 and hope that uh, a bad, a, a worst A is gonna call me. Uh, but I'm ready to uh, to call his all in if he if he wins all in. But he just calls um, and the river brings the jack of hearts. Um, so there's not enough left. So I'm just pushing all in. So I push all in and he calls uh, and I show my ace king and uh, he looks at the board, he waited, 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 looks at his card, looks at the board and then he turns over ace 10. So he flopped two pair, actually top two pair, uh, he flopped. And um, so I lost the pot, they gave the, the money to him, I took another hundred out and then um, Lady to, to my right uh, said to him, hey, uh, that was a really bad slow roll what you just did. And he said, um, what are you talking, it's not your business, uh, you stay out of, uh, out of my hand. Um, it's not even, uh, you, you don't have to say anything, go home and wash dishes. <laughs> he said that, I don't know what happened before on the table, but that was just totally out of the line. And now she blows up and goes like, oh, you better go home and wash the dishes and blah, blah, blah. So um, really bad uh, conversations going on. Um, she asked for a table change and she went to a different table. We got a new player and then another player uh, stand up uh, on our game. And I took that seat over there. And um, in that conversation or in that argument that the two had, I said, hey, uh, it's all good. It's fine. Karma is coming back. I believe in karma and I know karma is coming back. So I changed the seat and now I'm sitting to his left. Um, <coughs> and he raises to $20 before the flop. So it's one, three, he raises to $20, it falls to me. I look down at ace nine of clubs. I have another hundred starting stack. That's normally not what you call 20% uh, of your money uh, with, but uh, I, I, I don't want to lie, I'm, I'm a little bit pissed also and I want to get him, I wanted to get him. So I go like, okay, maybe I got a good flop and uh, I might get it back uh, to him. I was not pissed that I lost the pot, I was just pissed that he was uh, slow rolling me and then go off at that lady and tell her to go home and wash the dishes. So I called the $20 with ace nine of clubs and uh, everybody else fold. The flop is, 10 of clubs, 9 of hearts, and the 7 of clubs. So I flop middle pair and I have the nut flush draw. He leads out for $25 and I just smooth call the $25. The turn brings the 6 of clubs. So now I have the nuts. And um, he decided to check and I look uh, not interested of the on the, on the board so i go like okay i'm gonna check that i know he's gonna bet the river i don't want i don't want to be the the one who puts the money in first because oh no right now i want to slow him right i have the nuts right now so i'm gonna check too so the river brings the two of spades i'm still holding the nuts the stone cold nuts and uh, as i as i was thinking uh, now he takes all his chips and pushes them all in now I lean over and I look, hmm, I go like, I call. <laughs> so I call, I put my chips in the middle and he turns around ace 10. So I'm going to the board, actually the, the same hand that he slow rolled me earlier. So I'm looking at the board, I'm looking, 
look at my cards, look at the board again, I look to the, to the woman next to me and I said, karma is a bitch. And then I turned around my hand and I showed him the nuts. He immediately took the rest of his chips and left the table. Karma is a bitch. <laughs> Ah, I gotta tell you, I normally don't slow roll at all. I hate, I hate that slow rolling shit. If you don't know if you win, just turn around your hand and it's fine. Um, yeah, but this time, I'm happy to give the karma back to him. I'm done. Unfortunately, <laughs> karma got back to me. I don't know for what, but uh, maybe because I ate so much. <laughs> My belly is full. Uh, yeah, I lost. Uh, the, the poker room is uh, pretty, pretty busy because of that. Uh, over a hundred and five thousand dollar jackpot that they have uh, but I'm done I'm I lost uh, uh, about half an hour ago I'm here for three hours now um, where did I park ah over there um, I lost with ace eight of spades um, Somebody raised before the flop to 12, uh, two callers, and I called also from, uh, from the button. And the flop is ace, eight, seven, two clubs, one diamond. The pre-flop raiser leads out for $25. The other guy folded and I called the $25. On the turn comes the deuce of diamonds. So we have two flush draws now, but I'm still sure that I have the best hand. Uh, now he bets $35 and I raise to $105. He pushes all in, I call, I show it right away my hand. He shows pocket sevens for a set of sevens and the river is, what was it, a 10? I think a 10. So, I lost with top two, flop top two against flop the set. Uh, I'm down, I played a little bit longer and now I'm down uh, $258. <laughs> so, I call it a day. I have to go home, I don't have that much time to doing the vlog and I know it takes a long time to do everything. That's what I'm doing now going home for you guys that you see and can laugh a little bit about the shit that I played. Don't forget, like, subscribe and leave all the shit down below. I'll be back. Uh, I gotta say this, uh, even that the poker room at the Orleans is packed with locals, um, actually, the one three game is pretty good. I saw some other tables. I had a look on some other tables, and they were also good. So there was a lot of action in that one three game that they have there. Um, so the max buy-in is 500. Um, yeah, it's a pretty. I did not. Uh, I haven't played here for at least six months, but um, the game is pretty good. I'm. I'm pretty sure I'm coming back to play more here. <laughs>